several hundred years after the fall of human civilization. It was a lawless period. A time without order. Only blood, flesh, bone, and iron. It was also a time of sorcery. Having been terrorized by demonic creatures their entire lives, human beings were miserably inadequate and forced to subsist in a barren Bastille environment. Dark Schneider. Lady Nay, do you still intend to do battle with him? Please, there must be another way. You mean so much to each other. There is only one fate for those who interfere with my plans. Even if it is Dark Schneider. Death! Ah, I see the coming of a dragon which strikes with the power of thunder. It will use its blood to cleanse the blood of the accursed one. Now! Nebum Sin! Spirits of Earth and Air! Uh -huh. I beseech you to honor the ancient pact and fulfill your duty to me! Megadeth! <laughs> If that had been any closer, we'd be dead! Huh? Arshus! I've never seen that look before. What happened to make you hate me so much? Now I understand. That woman is Arshus Ney! Dark Schneider's lover! So he's found another woman. Darsh. You haven't changed a bit. Always off on an adventure with whatever girl you're playing around with, leaving me to wait for your return. Now you carry the accused fingernail. If your heart betrays the Four Lords of Havoc, or turns towards Dark Schneider, your lovely flesh will crumble away, and you will be left to live forever as a pathetic toad! After 15 years, you come back to life. Even now, you cause me nothing but grief. But today, it ends. Today, you will die by my sword! Doc Schneider, I beg you not to take her challenge. There must be another way. <laughs> no, please. If you do this, you'll be killed. Luce, if there's even a little chance you might not survive this, I don't think I could go on. I couldn't. I'd be so lost. I... I... Hey, Yoko. Could you lend me 500 yen? Huh? Uh, sure. I'm good for it. Let's get this show on the road! You two hurry up and hide! Doc Schneider! The hour of your death is at hand, wizard! Is that a fact, you ungrateful little whelp? I'll teach you a lesson! I know that one. It's a high mobility flight spell. Raven! Changes nothing! G. Iliophil Ade! I call forth from the days of the ancients the sovereign symbol of unknown destruction! 
Shun! Wait a second. I don't know that spell. Then you die knowing there are still incantations of the High Agents you will never master. Take this! Death Raven! Ugh. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> that lightning ball is sucking all the magical energies within its reach and sending them through a subspace warp. I've rendered your famous magical abilities completely useless. Not likely. Huh? What the? You have no magic, and without your magic, you have no chance against my Thunder God sword. Uh, ouch. Now it ends. Die! I call the Dragon Death Strike! Enchanted fire sword? Ah, so it's you! An enchanted sword is sworn to protect and serve its master. If the legendary Thunder God Sword has become your enemy, I, Ifrit, shall transform into the fire sword and fight it! <clears throat> Persistent elemental, aren't you? I didn't realize you'd mastered the Fire Sword. <laughs> Impressive as always, Dark Schneider. Only you could tame a chaotic creature like Ifrit. However, your arrogant elemental will prove no match for the mighty Nue, the terrible Thunder Beast of Legend which lives within the Thunder God Sword and serves me as its master. <gasps> My heart feels like it's going to explode. I have an awful feeling about this. Oh, Luce. into this fight. Have you forgotten you're in the middle of a fight? <laughs> the man I knew was never so foolish! <laughs> I did it! I killed Dark Schneider! Dark Schneider! It'll be all right. Luce can't die. Isn't that right, Luce? Luce! No! No! I took you in, raised you like a daughter. Now you will die! You may have raised me, made me what I am. But when we became lovers, all of that changed. I never thought of you as my father. Not even once. <laughs> Enough talk! Raven! Ure, who reign dead! Obey your blood oath and come forth from the land of Amadon! You believe your special fire attack will have any effect on the Thunder Empress? You underestimate your opponent! Ure, who reign dead! Obey your blood oath! Come forth from the land of Amadon! Fire of Gehenna! Become a fiery blast and burn everything around! Exodus! 
precious. Fool, you should never let compassion cloud your judgment, especially not in a struggle for life or death. That was one of the first things you taught me, wasn't it, Dark Schneider? Oh, Dark Schneider. Princess, he'll be okay. I know he will. Because... because... because he owes me 500 yen! Ever since he was little, I've taught Luce to return my things when he borrows them. Luce, please! You've got to get up! The flood of emotions from my humble fans. My obvious charms and godlike powers always dazzle the simple, ordinary folk. But who can blame them for worshipping the most powerful man in the world? <laughs> oh, oh. Mm -hmm. That's what he gets for playing like a big shot after taking a beating like that. You are annoyingly unkillable, but... You're almost finished, and you don't have the spells or the power to finish this battle. When I bring back your head, my comrades and I will finally finish our work and rebuild this world as we see fit. Face it, you couldn't kill me and you know it. What? All right. Allow me to prove I'm capable of a lot more than you think! Don't do it! I love you, Arche. <laughs> this ideal world you're trying to create, Arche. Why should I? You don't care. I can understand a stiff like Carl wanting something like that. But why would you devote yourself to such a boring cause? We plan to create the Sorcerer's Kingdom, a utopia controlled by those with magical powers. There will be no discrimination, no poverty, no war. A kingdom such as that is worth dying for. That's a lie. Ignorance and hatred are at the core of human nature, and nothing is going to change that. This eternal heaven on Earth you're after is childish fantasy. Can't you see that? Shut up! Of course a vulgar scoundrel like you could never understand our ideals. But for a half-elf who's lived through the wreckage of war, nothing was ever easy. I was an outcast among both humans and elves. As long as you live, you will never truly understand how that feels. Ever since I was little, I can't remember a day my body didn't have fresh bruises. And then came the day that changed everything. The day my tribe went to war with the Wood Elves. I was abandoned by the Dark Elves who'd been caring for me. And I never saw them again. <sighs> Good riddance to another bad influence. Arceus. All those memories of hunger and grief taught me something. That no one should have to grow up without a safe place to live. And that's all the justification I need. Arshe, have you forgotten? The day I was passing by on the road and you grabbed the hem of my robe? And for 100 years after that day, I made sure you were always safe and always happy. Darsh. Try to remember, Arshis. Remember how your life changed after that. I remember it. I've thought of it constantly in the 15 years you've been gone. The years spent under your care and guidance. You gave me paradise. You may have only done it on a whim, but for me... Arshe. <gasps> What's wrong? <laughs> ha 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 ha! 
She did exactly as I knew she would. See for yourself, Kal Su. Arshus Ney's fingernail is turned purple. Damned half-elf. Too undisciplined to tear her heart away from Dark Schneider. Most amusing. <laughs> Every time she opens her heart to him, the fingernail of the accused spell which I implanted within her will bind her body further. And in the end, when that nail glows as red as blood, and when she's turned completely against us, then Arshus Ney's body will be destroyed forever! Call Sue. Are you not going to watch? I don't see why, Abigail. If Arshus Ney dies, Dark Schneider will have to be dealt with by one of us. Till then, you can find me at my post in command of the First Army. Hmm. I took you in. Raised you like a daughter. You'd always say that. Whenever we had a fight, I raised you like a daughter. Your other favorite was I love you. You could put a stop to any fight we were having just by saying those words. Arshus. Enough. Dosh, you took me in on a whim. A half-elf orphan you could raise as you wished. I will decide when it's enough! But did you ever realize you were the most important thing in my life? With you dead, nobody can stop us from destroying this kingdom! And not because you raised me or became my lover. It was because you were all I ever had. I've never accepted an opponent's surrender before, and I'm not going to begin now. If you face me in combat, you die! You were everything that was precious to me. Everything I loved. If you care for me at all, please, don't get up. Ah. Why, Darsh? Why did you have to stand up? Darsh! I don't understand. That woman... I don't sense any evil intent from her at all. In my mind, I see her as... As a crying child. Oh, Darsh. Darsh! No, Yoko. What? Uh. Yoko! He, he cares for her. What? <coughs> Jeez, will you be careful? I'm more delicate than I look. <gasps> Princess Sheila, are you all right? Uh, what a relief. We'll make it out of this, Princess. He's wide open again. But I can't do it. I can't. We've come to the end of this battle. My next spell will be my most powerful! I know you. You still have one attack spell left in your arsenal. But I have more. Put up a fighter, I swear, after I've finished you, your sweet little woman, will die. Huh? I was right. I know it. She's at war with her own heart. I don't think Dark Schneider's the one she's trying to kill. Hurting Yoko was the stupidest thing you've done, because I show no mercy to those who do, and that includes you! So let's get it on! At last. The fingernail of the accused has turned from purple to red. Time is running out for you, Thunder Empress. Once the nail turns purest crimson, you die! <laughs> But you can survive if you rip out Dark Schneider's heart and use the blood to cancel the spell. Either way, one of you dies! Let's go, Dark Schneider! You have no chance of walking away from the ultimate spell of destruction! As you wish! 
I'll answer it with the strongest spell in my arsenal! Faster, Great Priest, we must hurry! What do you see, Baba? The coming of the vision which appeared to me in my crystal ball, the image of Dark Schneider's perilous fate! Is it his fate? My god, the power of the spell they're summoning may obliterate them both! We may be too late. The vision I had was of Doc Schneider, laying motionless on the ground with his heart ripped from his chest. This vision will soon come true! There is a storm brewing. to abandon this madness before it's too late. Unleash total destruction, Sage of Hades, and open the gates of hell! Harrowing! Farewell, Dark Schneider. Darsh, I love you. Destroyed before the spell transforms my body. Darsh! No! She's crying. This is breaking her heart. There has to be another way. They mean far too much to each other for it to end like this. It's wrong. It's all so wrong. No! <laughs> Fate approaches! Look well, Great Priest! If I am to die, then I want you to hold me one last time. Darsh! Dark Schneider! Huh? Who is calling me? Open your eyes, Dark Schneider! Huh? Look well on she who means so much to you! What? You! Luce Ren Ren! Can't you see what's happening? Arshe loves you far too much to ever destroy you. So she has condemned herself to a fate which for her is worse than any death. Wh what are you talking about? <laughs> what? She has the nail of the accused! You know the agony she faces. Rather than be transformed by the curse, she's chosen to die at the hands of the one she loves. Abigail! Only he would dare to do this! I love you, Dodge. I love you. He dared to use Arshay to get to me, that son of a bitch! Darsh. Don't worry, my pretty one. Come, I'll make everything better for you.
They cast the accused on me? Of course, because the spell was irreversible without the beating heart of Dark Schneider, their plan was foolproof. Oh, my love. have paid witness to a prophecy which has come to pass. Luce! Oh, Luce! Why, Luce?